Here's how the rope tie works. You feed the loop, bend it over, and it's attached. Now you bring the end of the rope around the jam cleat, wrap, and pull. That's all. The figure 9 attaches similarly, and then it requires one wrap to stretch, and then you have to hold it with the other hand while you wrap through the serrated V where it's supposed to retain the rope. It's more complicated and not quite as effective. To adjust a rope tie in the middle of a rope with no slack, all you need to do is pull. You can do it with one hand. Now with the figure 9, first you have to loosen up the rope to unhook from the V-groove, which can be a problem when there's no slack on the rope. Then you can tighten and hook it again. It's a complicated operation. See again how the rope tie can be adjusted with a single pulling motion, automatically gripping the rope firmly. In comparison, the figure 9 can pop if the rope end is not secured with a knot. The point of this thing is that you don't need knots, right? The rope tie locks tighter the more tension you have on the rope, and for complete safety, you just have to retain the loose end as shown.